The sands of time shift, empires crumble, and the very language we use evolves, yet certain mysteries refuse to be buried alongside them. Within the hallowed halls of the Book of Genesis, nestled within the sixth chapter, a cryptic passage hides in plain sight. When human beings began to increase in number on the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful, and they married any of them they chose. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God went to the daughters of humans and had children by them, they were the heroes of old, men of renown. The brevity of this passage belies its impact. It ruptures the predictable rhythm of the Bible's genealogies, jolting the reader with this strange interlude. Suddenly, we're confronted with sons of God. But who or what are they? Celestial beings with an inexplicable desire for mortal women, archaic kings cloaked in the language of divinity, or something else entirely. The term Nephilim itself is a riddle, while sometimes translated as giants, the word carries a deeper ambiguity. Some scholars suggest it hints at a fall from grace, painting these figures with a shade of cosmic tragedy. Their description as heroes of old, men of renown, offers little clarity. Does it speak of valor, conquest, or merely the way figures grow larger than life in the retelling of their stories? The unsettling intrigue of the Nephilim lies not just in the enigma itself, but in the way it challenges the reader. We yearn for order, for narratives with clear beginnings and conclusions. Yet this passage drops us into the middle of a story we weren't aware was happening, leaving us to piece together meaning ourselves. Should we read it as a factual record, a fantastical twist in the ongoing saga of humanity? Or is it a morality tale disguised as history? The mystery of the Nephilim has given rise to countless interpretations, each offering a unique lens through which to view these enigmatic figures, offspring of angels. Perhaps the most widely known theory this posits the sons of God were indeed celestial beings, angels who transgressed the boundaries of their nature. Their unions with mortal women produced the Nephilim, hybrid beings not wholly of earth or heaven. This interpretation raises thorny theological questions about the nature of angels, free will, and divine hierarchy. Demonic influence. A darker variant of the angelic theory suggests these sons of God weren't just wayward angels, but fallen ones, demonic entities drawn to human women. In this reading, the Nephilim are tainted from birth, vessels of corruption carrying the seeds of their demonic fathers. This aligns with parts of the biblical narrative that link their presence with the growing wickedness upon the earth. Ancient rulers, a more grounded interpretation strips away the supernatural. It suggests the sons of God might refer to powerful rulers, kings of forgotten empires who took wives from lower social classes. The Nephilim then simply become their privileged descendants, larger, stronger perhaps, but not otherworldly. This explanation anchors the story in a more familiar, historical context, but lacks an explanation for why the Nephilim are singled out in the biblical account. Symbolic figures. Some scholars argue the entire passage is allegorical, meant to convey a moral lesson rather than a literal lineage. The sons of God represent those who followed a righteous path, while the Nephilim come to symbolize the corruption that springs from blurring spiritual and earthly desires. This interpretation focuses on the internal struggle within humanity rather than introducing external forces. The true depth of fascination the Nephilim hold lies not in finding one definitive answer, but in the way the ambiguity itself invites questioning. The enigmatic text tests the reader. Does one seek a literal interpretation, accepting the potential for otherworldly influence on human affairs? Or does one lean toward a metaphorical reading, finding within the tale a timeless story of morality, power, and the human propensity for corruption? Perhaps it's the enduring mix of the familiar and the fantastical 
that sparks our imagination. Ancient stories whisper of demigods, of heroes born from the mingling of divine and mortal bloodlines. The Nephilim echo these legends, yet root them in the context of a faith tradition shaping civilizations. Regardless of one's stance on the exact nature of the Nephilim, their brief appearance in the biblical narrative has left an indelible mark. They are a reminder of the textual enigmas hidden within sacred writings and the timeless human need to make sense of an often inexplicable world. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me on this journey and it's been great exploring its meaning with you. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And for more engaging content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, stay blessed and keep learning.